What in the world? Why are those turkeys out? Uh oh, this is not good, guys. See those turkeys right there? What in the world? Oh my gosh. I just got through telling you guys how this pin was impenetrable. And here we are looking at something that got in my turkey pin. Gosh, guys. I just hate when this happens. Let's see if we can find see if we can find where this thing got in. There it is. Look at the size of that hole. Here's my hand for reference. That's a big hole. Whatever did this was wanting in really bad. And you know, I know that it was not a coyote. And how do I know that? It's right here. Check this out. Look at all these paw prints. Now that paw print right there is huge. I mean, you can see it compared to my hand. And it's just trampled around in here. Not something a coyote would do. A coyote would run a lot closer to the fence, would have a very small paw. This was a big, big dog, and he was biting this wire. Look at that. It's biting it and mangling it up. This was a big, tough dog. My neighbor down the road uh, actually was going to work and saw one of the turkeys dead on the road. And I know which neighbor's dog did this by the looks of where it dropped this turkey when it was leaving. So we're gonna have to have a talk with the neighbor and we're gonna have to get something done about this because I'm gonna put up trail cameras tonight. And if this thing comes back, I don't know. I'm not making any promises, but uh, you know, I'm gonna shoot on sight. So if I see this thing, uh, it's not gonna make it out of the yard alive, that's for sure. So, this is not good. This is something that um, doesn't happen often. I was just talking to you guys about how <laughs> this pin never gets broken into, and coyotes don't mess with it. I've come out here and caught coyotes in the act, and they don't, they don't bite the wire, they stay away from it. But a dog is a little bit of a different story, a big dog, when they know they can get into things like that. So this dog just ripped right through that poly coated chicken wire. And as you can see, I mean, this stuff is, is poly coated, which is, is plastic coated um, or rubber coated, whatever. And it's thick. I mean, it's hard to break. It's not like regular chicken wire. And this thing just ripped a giant gaping hole in it. And I'm surprised he found his way back out, honestly. This is the only hole in this pen. But it just looks like a straight murder scene. Look at all this. Gosh. There's feathers everywhere. I haven't taken account yet, so I don't know. I don't know exactly how many were missing, but I'll take account here after a while. Um, I was just getting ready to go to work and Christian looked out the window and said there's two turkeys running outside and well that's not good because i've got all my turkeys pinned up so i thought well maybe you know maybe they're wild so i hurried up put my pants on and stuff and i i come out here and um sure enough something ripped into that thing and i was just talking to you guys about how nothing gets into this pen well you know i buried the wire two feet deep so nothing could dig in, but they just had their way with the wire. So I'm not sure. I mean, I really want to put like some metal, some two foot tall uh, metal all the way around the bottom. But this is a big pin. This is 120 feet long. 
So it's gonna take quite a bit to go around the whole thing. So I don't know for sure if I wanna do that yet or not, but I am going to either set out here and hunt for this thing, or I'm gonna put a foothold trap out and we're gonna get this thing. It's not gonna come over and catch my turkeys and just get away with it. That's not how it works around here. So it's definitely an invasion of privacy. Um, I hate when things get in my pen. It just, it stinks. It just seems like there's really no way to completely uh, fix it. Uh, I've had coyotes jump up on pins and get turkeys roosting from the top of this six foot pin right here. See, it's just six foot tall, so the, the coyotes would jump on the side and scare the turkeys off when they were roosting on top. And um, the turkeys would fall on the ground, the coyotes would get them and take off. Well, that's one thing, you know, the turkeys are out. But when I have them pinned up and things get in the pin, it just kind of presents a whole new level of, man, I got to fortify this thing and I got to catch whatever is trying to get my bird. So it's just a lot of unnecessary headache and to know that it's a dog uh, problem could be very easily solved by it getting pinned up at night but I I don't think that these neighbors are gonna do that so you know we may have to take matters into our own hands I don't want to have to do that but people need to control their dogs and um, it's just one of those things you know so uh, so here we are but I just wanted to do, show you guys what happened today. Uh, I got to get into work, but yeah, very unfortunate thing. I'm going to get this, uh, get this pin uh, buttoned back up and get a piece of wire over there and patch this hole and then um, maybe take a count and see how many I'm missing. But um, anyways, it's one of those deals, guys. I'll put, I'll put out some trail cameras tonight and I will, uh, I'll show you tomorrow. Uh, what I get it may be on this video uh, it may not but I'll put out some trail cameras tonight and I'll show you guys the pictures of what I found we'll catch you all next time uh, if you haven't already please subscribe smash that like button and we'll catch you on the next video